Okay, so in this video, we're going to clear out the detected moisture in your USB port problem that is happening with my Android, and a lot of people have issues. So this is the best way I clear it out. It works most of the time. Sometimes it goes away on its own. It's very frustrating. So let's go here. You're going to open up your phone. You're going to go down to settings, and then you're going to go search for apps. Gonna click on apps now over here where it says your apps there's a little icon thing here you're going to click on that so you're going to want to click on show system apps right there you're going to press ok and then you're going to go up here to search then you're going to search usb settings so you're going to see usb settings here you're going to go here so what you're going to go here down here is to storage. So you're going to go to storage and cache in the cache. You're going to press this button here and you're going to clear this cache to clear out the warning. Clear cache is cleared. And then you're going to go back. Then you're going to restart your phone. That should take care of the issue. Another little step that I do, I shut off the phone I'm going to totally power it off so it's going to be powered off and then I'm going to press this top button and this power button at the same time hold down and then it's going to start up but it's going to should start up in a boot mode so now you're going to get this funky screen. So up here, your choice is going to be reboot system now. So that's already set there. So you're going to hit the lower power button, the screen button that's set. So it's going to boot. So right away it's going to boot. It's going to start normally. And also another key trick is when you put in the port again, put it to a high power charger. I think that's key also. It gives enough juice to it to help it start up. And if you put it to a low powered USB port, it might not work. So be ready to use the stock charging thing or a high powered um, USB connector to boot the phone. So you just install and it should charge, it should be normal. This helps me out, I hope it helped you out. And this is an outrageous issue with these new phones. I just paid this phone off and immediately the next day I had the error. And I guess it's something we gotta live with or I haven't seen any other solutions other than getting a new phone or having a place change out the port. There's no moisture in there. So this clears it up and hope this helps. Like and subscribe if it's helped. Thanks for watching.